There are three things you can do if you want to build a startup without having any budget. The first one, you can hire a branding agency that will build a website for you for $30,000. Or you can use this free AI startup website kit. So this, this was not built by me. This was built by Framer. So all of that marketing experience, all of that team who worked on uh, creating framework, they were building this template and they included all of the marketing experience, how to convert users into paid customers, how to make them scroll through all of the pages. And we're going to look at how is this template effective, how to actually make it work for your website, how to customize the colors, the logos. So it literally fully customizable for your project. And once you're on the homepage, you can just click get for framer. And once you open that, you will go to the framer page. And yeah, absolutely love this template. If you build anything related with SaaS, with tech, with AI, just, uh, just click the link in the description. You can copy it for free to your account. And when you click on it, you will see a lot of pages here on the left side. And I'm going to go through all of them. So the first section we see here is the hero section with the above default uh, tagline, which is absolutely great regarding conversions. Uh, it shows users what you do in few words. It shows new features. It shows what you're working on. And when you scroll down, you can see the navigation is fixed. So you can see the button here. Anytime you scroll, you, you know that it's joined the wait list. So maybe you're not ready to join the wait list right now, but you scroll down, you see a nice feature that you like, and then you can click the join wait list. So under that, we have a logo section, which is very good for building the trust with your users and showing that you're not just no name project, but you have some establishment in the community. Uh, we have sections with features. They're easy to customize. You can see that th this is just the screenshots of your dashboard. So when you go to, fig to Framer here, you can click on this and you can just uh, upload your own image here. Yeah. Then we have this uh, 3D icons, 3D elements, right? Uh, we have more of them. So they built a lot of them. Let me just quickly go to the three assets page. So you can choose any that you like or you can place your own 3D icons and you can use that as well. So what would I do is actually I would keep the same icons that they've placed already because as I said, this is, was built by professional designers. So they probably knew what they were doing and doesn't matter what I do, whether it's image generation, I probably could have uh, some use of this icon. Uh, I can just apply my own text obviously here and obviously I can do the same as well. For this, I would actually keep that traffic plus 10% is good, especially if you're doing something related to AI. Right, uh, next we have another feature sections. And regarding these feature sections, they have the whole page just for feature sections. So if I go here, I preview this page. This is not like separate page. This is just the page where they keep all of their features. So you can scroll down and see whatever you prefer, whether you do something with AI, find any feature page that you like, just side by side cards. You can find just three cards in a row. And yeah, just any sections of features that you like. Maybe you have a video and three bullet points at the top. You can do that if you have some of the shorter bullet points and a place uh, whether you want to add something like this. Yeah, they have just literally a lot of uh, feature section. Let's say I like the feature section with a globe. I'm just going to click on it like this. I'm going to make to go to layer and make sure I select the right uh, section, I'm going to go to the home page and then I'm going to just control V or command V and using my keyboard, I can bring it up to whatever position I want. Let's say I want to have it under the logos. So yeah, that's just, that was it. And I, I just can scroll down and I can see this all with all of the interactions. It brought it up. Uh, one thing about copying the content, if you want to copy, for example, this section, uh, you would also need to copy, if you want to copy this section, you would also need to copy all of the components related to the section for, for these animations to work. So when I go to home page, I'm just going to place control V and I'm just going to move it all up. Uh, first, I'm going to place it right here on the side. Then I'm going to control X and place it here and move it up like this. So now this animation will work. Yeah, so you can see all of this work, but if I delete this section, if I delete these images, it will not work. So make sure to copy every component properly. Uh, yeah, so also we have 
uh, buttons, different buttons, whether you do with uh, purple colors, like a primary button, or you want to add secondary button on your homepage, you can use different colors. So white would be a secondary button and the purple this would create in would be a primary button. And as you can see here on the homepage, we have a, a primary button with join by list and stuff for free. Um, yeah, so we have here also this section that I just added and more feature sections. We have testimonial sections. Uh, this testimonial section, they have another testimonial section. Let me just quickly open the example two version. So yeah, this one is another version. You can make it a slider as well if you have more testimonials. Then we have pricing. One option for pricing, another option for pricing is like this with the yearly and monthly switch. All of it already pre built, so you just need to uh, make the changes. So, yeah, that's that's about the pricing. We have call to action here, and for that, they have also a few more options. I think this one and this the best doesn't distract user from uh, the content. Also, I like the minimalistic form here and just the button here. Depending if you are collecting emails for demos or for a waitlist, you can use this version. Or if you have product and you want them to try the demo, you can just make them try for free. Uh, that's regarding the, uh, the call to action section, which is the most important section. Because let's say uh, if I didn't have this and users scroll until this section and they just see pricing page, most of the time they will just click off and they will not do nothing. But if you have the here, the call to action here one more time, they will see that you want the, their email for, for sign up, right? No card required, seven day free trial, you know what you're getting into. So they will probably enter their email and most of the time they will go to the process of your onboarding and that's a good way to make them make the users try when you when you have the there is no risk there is nothing to fear and you can just enter your email and start like that most of the time they will make the decision to start two very important things to consider before using and building this template is what's your brand color if your brand color is purple similar to this then by all means start using this template if not there are two things you can do the first one is uh, you can go and see all of the colors that this template might be compatible with because they have all the icons pre-built. So if you if your brand has one of these colors, uh, you can start using that as well. But you'll need to actually spend more time to customize all of the colors. For that, you will just open the color palette here. And the best thing is they all are styles. So if you have any knowledge about CSS, you know how styles work. And once you change the color here, they will change the color on all of the pages. So you will just basically need to place all of these is your brand colors. That way you will change the colors. But again, the icons are components, so the colors will not be changed. The buttons are the components, so the colors will not be changed. You will be need to go to this and apply the same styles as you can see in this icons. Uh, this is a little bit more complicated. That's why if you need any help, you can uh, click the link down in the description and I can help you customize this template. And we have also a navigation here. Yeah, navigation is a uh, hamburger on mobile. Let me just quickly preview how it looks like. Uh, looking good. Uh, also, we have uh, patterns. So what's a pattern? Uh, for whatever project you might use. I don't know why you need this pattern. Okay, let's see pricing, different options. They have three options for pricing. Uh, in my opinion, this works the best for the home page. This works the best for pricing page. And this maybe works best for the feature page when you list different features. Uh, we have a few options of testimonials, card side by side, one card and more beautiful option typography so here is the place that you change one of the most important thing of your on your website is uh, fonts so put your brand font here just click on this and you can um, edit it as well and place your own font here and it will be applied over all the pages um, yeah so that was quick overview let's see example app what they have here so they also have pre-built app and uh, even if you're building on your project and you don't have the the SaaS product yet right now uh, this is a great place to start and just put, basically place your own text. Let's say you are building some marketing uh, application, right? You can place your own text here. Pretty similar can be structurally, but just place your own text related to your own project and you will have a quick demo, let's say MVP, right? That you can show your users and they can see that you're building something. And same with this, you can just place your own uh, image here. 
The best thing is it's all text based. So once you change it, it will apply the changes over all of the sections and over all of the pages. So that way you don't have to customly make a screenshot like this. Cause I know if you have, don't have any design experience that might be hard to create something that looks like this, because if you place some white thingy dashboard, it probably will not fit here and it will not look really good. So that's a really great thing that, ha that they have in here. So if you like this template that Framer built for us, click the link down in the description. You can copy it absolutely for free. And if you want me to customize this template, also click the link down in the description, book a 15 minutes call, and I'll help you to customize it.